Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about geometric sequence. But in this case, we will focus on how to find the nth term of a given geometric sequence. Or in other words, hanapin natin ng isang specific term ng isang given geometric sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. In this formula, ito yung purpose ng bawat um, variables na nakita nyo dito. Yung a sub n natin is the nth term. Your a sub 1 is the first term in a given sequence. Your r is the common ratio. Your n is the number of terms. So let's try solving this problem. So what we have here, as you can see, we have this problem find the 7th and the 10th term of the sequence 3, 6, 12, and 24. So let me rewrite the given formula. a sub n is equal to your a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Basically guys, before performing this kind of formula, we need to find first the value of each variable in this given sequence. This one is definitely, guys, by the way, this one is definitely an example of geometric sequence. Hindi siya pwede maging arithmetic. Kasi as you can see, wala siyang common difference. So, try natin na kung may common difference siya. Kasi maganda rin kasi i-check nyo if the sequence is arithmetic or geometric. So, as you can see, we have here 6 minus 3, that is equal to 3. Then 12 minus 6, that is equal to 6. 24 minus 12 is equal to 12. So, hindi consistent yung differences nila. Kaya wala siyang common difference. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi siya arithmetic sequence. Puntahan naman natin. Try naman natin kunin yung common ratio. Yung common ratio natin na R, pwede natin siya makuha by dividing yung, na, yung sumunod na term from the previous term. Example, yung 6 divided by 3. That is equal to 2. Ito yung ngayon yung common ratio natin or r. Now, you can also try using the other terms of the given sequence to get the common ratio. Let me try 12 divided by 6. Still, that will give you the common ratio of 2. Same with 24 divided by 12. That is also equal to 2. Definitely, this one is an example of geometric sequence. Since we are done with letter R, let's go with A sub 1. Your A sub 1, as I have mentioned earlier, that is the first term. In this case, your A sub 1 is equal to 3. Your N, your N, ha, your N, it depends kung anong term ang gusto mong hanapin. Since here, pinapanat sa ating 7th term, your N is equal to 7. So now, we are ready to use this formula. Let me try to find the 7th term. Now, using this formula, this will become a sub 7 because your n is equal to 7 is equal to your a sub 1 which is equal to 3 times your r, which is equal to 2, and your n is equal to 7, so this is 7, minus 1. Simplifying this, this will become a sub 7 is equal to 3, times 2, simplify this exponent, 7 minus 1, that is equal to 6. And after that, you need to simplify this, 2 raised to 6. Ibig sabihin nito, you will multiply 6, 6 times to itself. Pero, kung meron kayong calculator, you can use your calculator by getting 2 raised to 6. And the answer is simply 64. So we have now, a sub 7 is equal to 3 times 64. Then multiply 3 and 64, 
3 times 60 is 180. 3 times 4, that is equal to 12. So 180 plus 12, that will give you the answer of A sub 7 is equal to 192. Ibig sabihin nito guys is that the seventh term of the sequence 3, 6, 12, 24 is 192. Now let's move on with the next example. We are also asked to find the tenth term. Okay? Find the tenth term. If we are trying to find or calculate for the tenth term, your R will remain as 2, your A sub 1 is still equal to 3. Ang magbabago lang dito is the value of n. Since this one is 10th term, your n is equal to 10. Okay? Using this formula, 10th term, this will be a sub 10. This one is equal to your a sub 1, which is equal to 3, times your r, which is equal to 2, and here, n minus 1, this will become 10 minus 1. Simplify this, this exponent, we have a sub 10 is equal to 3 times 2 raised to the ninth power. You can use your calculator, scientific calculator, try to evaluate 2 raised to the ninth power, and the answer here is 512. Then multiply it by 3. 512 times 3. This would give us the answer of a sub 10 is equal to 1536. In other words, guys, since this one is our answer, in other words, our 10th term o yung pang sampung term ng ating geometric sequence is 1,536. Now, I hope guys you learned something from this video and I want to give you an assignment wherein using the same sequence, I want you to find the 12th term. I hope na makita ko sa ating comment section, yung inyo magiging sagot in this assignment. So, if you're watching from TikTok, go to our YouTube channel for more, more videos. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!